Um, so I'm going to click into uh, the Guru interface here. Guru is running uh, the interface in the browser, so it makes it easy for you to run it on whatever device you want to. Um, the Any compute heavy stuff, it's running in the cloud. Um, today, we're going to uh, set up a fin finite element analysis. We're going to create a new dome geometry. We're going to arbitrarily set uh, dome radius, pretty large dome radius. Um, and uh, we'll set up pretty low dome height. We'll uh, choose uh, some number of lobbies and suites. And uh, this uh, interactive spider chart here is a super easy way to set uh, just the variables that you want. Usually, somebody setting up CAD and Salome Mecca or another CAD package and final element analysis and code Aster or some other FDA code usually spends hours setting this kind of stuff up. We just did it in a couple seconds. We're submitting it. Guru's now doing the heavy lifting. Uh, it's autonomously setting up a brand new CAD model. It's gonna show us that geometry in a moment. And uh, it's setting up the uh, finite element analysis. It's gonna run it and it's gonna show us uh, the results in just a moment. Um, now, you know, Guru runs lots of different types of modeling analysis for you. So while we wait just a minute or two for this to, to show up and finish, I'll show you a couple other examples. So I'm gonna show you something that we've been doing for the Air Force recently. We have been training Guru to set up trajectory simulations. These are for uh, hypersonic glide vehicles. And uh, I am going to select where I wanna to fly to. Let's launch from uh, Honolulu and let's head towards Los Angeles. So now we are going to calculate all the flight char characteristics of that hypersonic glide vehicle. We're actually gonna run several of them at the same time. And uh, we're going to uh, select some maneuvers. We want to add some turns and some oscillations and a fish hook. Um, these uh, hypersonic glide vehicles are designed to evade and intercept. And uh, so if you want to figure out how to intercept them, you got to run lots of simulations. That's what we, what we prepared Guru to do. So I'm going to um, set some uh, uh, short periods and um, high amplitudes in the oscillations. I'm going to set uh, pretty long duration in this turn. I'm just going to hit auto populate. And uh, what that does is it's going to just set up several, um, actually about 100 simulations in this case, simultaneously. And uh, we're going to submit that. And now Guru is going to uh, create 100 configuration files, run them, and post process them. Um, our users tell us that uh, doing this takes them days, like like a week to do this. We're showing you this in minutes. Wow. Um, while we wait for that, why don't we, uh, why don't we try one more uh, example? Uh, I'm going to show you an aerodynamic simulation. And uh, so we'll go our, over to CFD. And um, in this one, let's choose an F-18 Super Hornet. And we'll fly it transonically today. The solver that Guru is going to drive is open foam. It's a very highly uh, used, very popular CFD package. We're going to set a really high angle of attack so it's super obvious when we look at the result at the end. Set a moderate altitude and hit submit. And again, this is an example of a workflow that usually takes a user like hours to set up and we're just effortlessly clicking through it because we handed all the laborious work to the autonomous system. Okay, so let's come back and take a look at how we did. Okay, so all the action is done here. We got our dome and um, we, got, uh, we got our results here. So. For the particular design choice that I just made when we were sitting here, uh, I set uh, so many suites here that uh, we have a lot of cutouts here. So it's uh, and we, we have a relatively large uh, roof size here. So you can see that it's uh, tending to deflect in a lot um, in the roof. Um, so that's why that's red there, and it seems like it looks like it's compressed there. And then of course, when you look at the stresses over here, you can see that it's uh, lighting up. Uh, these these uh, thin ribs of concrete here. You can see that um, in this kind of design, obviously we want to make sure that we manipulate the thickness so that uh, we bulk these up to uh, make sure that we endure these
these stresses and make sure that we don't get too many deflections. But you can see Guru just gener generated the geometry I wanted, meshed it up, ran the analysis, presented the results to us like that. If we want to run 100 variations, if we want to run 1,000 variations, we can deploy those all to the cloud right away and get the results that quick. Um, it makes um, design really free. Now, all of a sudden, you can say, oh, I don't have to take hours to set this up. I can just focus on what I actually care about, the design options, uh, and what the results mean at the end. Sign me up. Um, okay, so this is still running. That'll be done soon. And uh, our open foam simulation is, is running along here, too. While I'm do waiting for that, why don't I show you one more thing sure. that we've been doing for the Space Force recently. So we have been working with Space Force to train Guru to, to design new spaceflight missions. And uh, the reason is, so we're gonna, we're gonna uh, use uh, NASA's uh, uh, MMS spacecraft in this simulation. We're gonna set up simulations in General Mission Analysis Toolkit, or GMAT. And uh, we're gonna set up a lunar flyby. We're gonna start from an L2 parking orbit. So that means the launch vehicle's already parked it in an L2 uh, parking orbit. We're gonna head toward the moon. We're gonna do a lunar flyby today. And um, so again, you get this easy to use spider chart. You can see there's always a different number of variables and, and as spokes in that wheel. It's just the variables that you need to uh, do whatever job that you want to. In this case, it's just a few because we've, uh, we're just flying along a so-called B plane toward the moon. So we just want to set some of those vectors. It's pretty simple. And um, we're just going to hit submit and here is going to set that up and uh, chart it up in GMAT and run that simulation. Um, this one's relatively simple, so it runs super quick. Um, but um, so you can see in this case, um, we, uh, we have the uh, full flight path uh, from the L2 parking orbit to uh, the moon, and um, it's, it's super quick. Usually setting up these kinds of simulations takes a long, long time. Uh, and again, it's just a matter of um, you know, asking the question, how much more could I get done? How many more flight operations could I get done? Uh, how many more designs? could I get done? Um, how many more design options could I choose and evaluate within the time and budget that I have? If an autonomous system was doing the, the, the really laborious parts? Um, and uh, this is our answer. Okay, so um, I'm glad that we came back to this CFD job uh, right in the middle of, of it finishing up because what you're gonna see is um, Guru using computer vision to manipulate the graphical user interface of Paraview here. Um, so it's actually finished running the job that it set up in the open foam solver and then brought it into Paraview and then it's uh, autonomously setting up a visualization for us. And uh, so that's our, uh, wow. our F-18 aircraft and you can see the streamlines flowing way over it because we chose a really high angle of attack. Um, so again, doing that usually takes like hours to set up uh, because you got to take the geometry for the F-18, then you got to mesh it. Meshing is usually really painful and laborious. Then you got to set it up, then you got to run it, then you got to post-process it. So having the autonomous system do this enables you to say, oh, gee, I mean, now I can just focus on, well, what design is going to give people living in this amazing Arctide community the best experience and how can I build that and make it affordable and uh, make sure that it's super robust. Um, this, we're really excited about this Arctide project um, and uh, the amount of innovation that this team is bringing into this effort and uh, we're, we're really uh, um, honored uh, to be a, a small part of um, uh, the really cool exhibit here at A360. Um, let me see how we're doing. Oh, our trajectory's finished. So, in this case, we ran 100 different trajectories at the same time. So we got this cluster view of all these different simulations. I'm gonna just choose a few of them, and we'll take a deeper look.
so you can see our full flight paths in the globe view here. Uh, so we can zoom out and we can zoom in and uh, take a look at what it's doing as it's approaching its destination in Los Angeles, <laughs> flying from Hawaii. Uh, we look at uh, 3D range plots and uh, you might remember those uh, short amplitude, uh, short period high amplitude oscillations. That's uh, what you're seeing here as, as it's uh, heading toward Los Angeles, it does a lot of this. And um, if I click on one of these, then we can look at the individual reduced data from the trajectory in 2D plots of altitude versus ground range, uh, altitude versus Mach number, um, angles versus time. You see those oscillations there and accelerations. You see what kind of acceleration these things go through. You don't want to be on board one of these vehicles that's, uh, when it's, when it's doing this. You're going you're gonna to have a tough time <laughs> holding your lunch. But um, anyway, so you, you see Guru is an autonomous system that drives software, expert workflows in software. Uh, I've just shown you a very broad spectrum of different examples of uh, stuff that we've been training Guru to do. Uh, and uh, we've just scratched the surface. Fantastic. Wow. It's great to see your vision come to life, especially in an application like this. It's Thanks, amazing. man. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you.